Hi, my name is Anders Salman. I'm a science communicator and presentation coach, and I'm here to help you to explain your research in one minute or less. After this film, you will have an understanding for the goal of a pitch, you will have a structure for your pitch, and also the necessary tools for creating your research pitch. So come along with me and follow these steps. I understand. You have devoted years and years to your research and put a lot of effort into it. And now you only get one minute to explain it all? And you are absolutely right. There is no way you could explain everything about your research in just one minute. But that's not the point. The goal of a pitch is to capture the listener's attention, to engage them so that they want to learn more about your research and start to ask questions. The trick is to choose the most effective and interesting parts about your research to tell the audience. Think about it this way. A pitch is the start of a conversation. So let's talk about the structure of your one minute pitch. A typical research article uh, has a familiar structure. You know about the abstract, the background, materials and methods, results, discussion and conclusion. And that is a very effective way to convey something in written form. But a presentation is all about being here and now and conveying things in a more active manner. So for the one minute pitch, we want the structure to look like this. Problem, solution, benefit and action. And don't worry, I will tell you all about each and every one of these steps. So now that you know the different parts of the pitch, let me give you some tips and advice on how to create your pitch. For each and every one of these steps, I will ask you one or two questions. Grab a timer and set that timer to one minute. And for every question, write down as many answers as possible to that question during one minute. And it's not about creating the perfect answer to every question. I just want you to write down as many answers as possible, because this will help you to create the first draft of your pitch. Many people make the mistake of starting with how you conduct your research and going through all the methods in detail. But before that, we want to know why you are conducting your research. So start by explaining the problem that your research will contribute to solve. Not the research question itself. Put your research in a broader context. So set the stage and explain what part of the problem your research is focusing on. If you start with explaining the problem, you will immediately catch the listener's attention. Set your timer to one minute and write down as many answers as possible to the question, what problem is my research contributing to solve? Next, we want to know how you aim to solve the problem. Tell us about your approach and what makes it so special. Don't dwell too much on explaining the exact methods here. If the methods aren't part of the strength and uniqueness of your project, you might as well leave them out. Then you tell us about the results you have gotten or expect to get from your research. Are there any breakthroughs already that you can tell us about? We want to know what this research will lead to. So set your timer to one minute and answer each of these questions for one minute. How is my research contributing to the solution? What are my expected results? Who or what will benefit from the results? How can these results be utilized to create a larger impact in the future? So it's time to start the timer again and write down as many answers as possible to this question. Who or what will my results benefit? Finish your pitch with a call to action. Remember when I said that the pitch is the start of a conversation? Well, the call to action is all about starting that conversation with the audience. What would you like the audience to do now? 
often it's just to tell them where they can find out more about your research. Or maybe you want to ask them a question. Or perhaps you need a certain thing to get your research going. So write down as many answers as possible to the question, what can the audience do now? It's time to put the pitch together. And here are some advice for that. First of all, don't do it all by yourself. Because think of it this way, you're not pitching for yourself, you're pitching on behalf of the whole of the project. Gather your colleagues to a brainstorming session about the pitch and let them also answer the questions I have given you. Write a script. Because when you have a script, it's much easier to time your talk and also to make changes based on the feedback you get. Practice your pitch with a timer so you know how long it will take. A typical one minute pitch is about 150 words, depending on how fast you speak. But do take time to allow for pauses as well. And the most important thing, ask for feedback. Not just from colleagues, but from people who are not researchers. And when you ask for feedback, ask the person to retell your pitch, because then you will know how much they have understood and what changes you have to make to your pitch. When you film your pitch, remember that we want to see you, so closer is always better. Also, think about the lighting. The lighting from a window is very good, but make sure it's on the right side. This is much better. Now the light comes in through the window on your face. And also think about the background. Use a neutral background because you don't want things that looks like they're growing out of your head, right? Make, make sure, sure you, you have, have good, good sound. sound. Either record in a quiet environment or make use of an external microphone that takes up the sound much better because we want to hear what you are saying. Don't use slides. You only have one minute to present your research and we want to see you, not the slides. Good luck with your pitch and remember, practice makes perfect.